everyone and welcome back to our very empty gorilla exhibit for the gorilla challenge the i uh, appreciate you breed bronze rated gorillas four hours left yes we have four hours left and we are just starting and that is fine do not worry we are going to start decorating this beautiful area now the western lowland gorillas they uh do not like a flat area we're gonna give them some height we're gonna give them some bumpiness we're gonna give them a bit of water to play in like a few water areas i'm actually gonna make this exhibit bigger because i think they'd appreciate it being bigger we're gonna give them a nice water area to swim in to cool off in oh that looks so cool and then I, what I want to do is pull the path back a bit, I think. So let me see if I just cut this bit off here first, just so we can have a play around with the terrain. And I want to kind of pull it up. I want to make a little mountain area here. Just a little bit of a higher ground where they can look really amazing on top. Um, so I'm going to push this down there and smooth it out a bit. There we go. Because I do want them to be able to obviously jump on top of this and be here. I'm going to pull it up around here a bit. There we go. This is going to look amazing. So it kind of joins into the back of here. And then I'm going to pull the barrier around. Around we go. And through the mountain tops. And now. I think I want to do a really cool, let's see, I'm going to just kind of flatten this bit out. There we go. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. And then I'm going to just pull a new, this bit up a bit to make a high ground. And what I want to do is do some viewing windows through here. I think that would look amazing. So let's see. I just want to make like a giant kind of cliff here. Um, and then here it can kind of, you know, chill out a bit and come down. I'm gonna add a bit here to make it look like it's naturally just kind of come around. There we go. This is so cool. Okay. Now, the barrier wise, I'm gonna just merge it through this tree for now. And then I'm just going to loop it around here, the side of the curve. And then, let's see. Hang on now. Just a second. Why is it going smaller? I don't know. And go around and here and here. And boom. Okay, now this is going to be one-way glass. I'm going to make everything one-way glass, actually. I'm pretty sure the gorillas don't really care about the glass being one way but just in case it's nice for them not to be you know noticed that notice that they're being watched so so they have prime prime life uh, let's see one way and it is perfectly one way good okay now what i want to do is do a path terrain do a small little flat path which goes right through the side of the mountain so people can look at the Amazing gorillas. So let's see. Let's just do like a seven. And let's just go straight through here. And then, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Amazing. Right. I'm going to just do the path so it goes this way. Okay. And then it comes this way. How far does it go this side? It kind of stops there. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So we have the nice kind of incline towards it. And then a lovely seating area, viewing area here for a nice big path. And then which can go kind of out this side. Oh my goodness, this looks so cool. Oh, that's going to be so amazing. Okay, well, let's do a path. Let's make the path. The width. Actually, you know, we should probably do this. <laughs> we should probably do this after we put the gorillas in. Because to be honest, we need them to breed. We do need them to breed. And we just had a maturing, let's see, 
Simba. In you go, my dear Simba. I'm gonna keep her name like that because it's a really cool name. And let's see, Gorilla. Oh, Western, Lowland, Gorilla. And you go in, sir. He's he's called Obik, but I'm gonna call him Obi because I love the name Obi, and it's kind of half his name already. So it's gonna be like a nickname. Um, and let's see, let's see. So, terrain-wise, let's see. I'm gonna flatten him off a bit. So I'm just go here, and then it goes out here. This is gonna be epic. Okay, path. So the path, let's see, goes up against the, it actually can't really go anywhere. So the only way it can go is through here. So I'm going to just straight on loop it round and through. Hang on. Um, let's see. Let's make it a little bit thinner then because it won't come through on its own. Huh, okay, we need to make it bigger, the path. Just a little bit, so I'm gonna just scooch it out a bit. There we go, just scooch the edges so it's a bit more forgiving with the path. Okay, now, oh, somebody arrived. I think he arrived. Okay, hang on, pause for two seconds because we need to work out these nine monitors maturing because they're all gonna argue with their father. So that's three nine monitors matured and a flamingo who can actually be released oh my goodness the flamingo population is crazy oh we had oh my goodness we had all the indian peafowl okay hang on <laughs> we had all the indian peafowl mature which is bonkers oh my gosh we have so many okay let's see so all the ones we know okay so let's see you and you and you all these guys i'm actually just gonna Put them straight pretty sure into releasing to the world so they're all off and then i'm going to just put the white let's see you and you can go to the wild and then i'm just going to put the white females away because they're kind of cool to keep and this these two can go to the wild everybody is boxed and going let's see um and you my lady i don't know what she's doing but i'm gonna just mark her she seems to be chilled okay is that everybody now <laughs> we had a few things happening oh no okay oh my gosh we have a lot of things ha happening and i'm trying to keep up okay another flamingo to release now I'm monitor you we've got all the now I'm monitor babies I think and that's fine and then the lowland gorilla oh my goodness me okay and Pablo the Galapagos tortoise passed away no Pablo he is so old he's 153 years old Pablo that is bonkers he's been here for 150 years shimmer and she has two, um, I'm going to just leave her with her two partners, with her two babies. Um, she doesn't need any company, that's fine. Okie dokie, let's see. So we have our vets complaining because um, we have gorillas that they cannot reach. So let's go and check out our amazing gorillas. Oh my goodness, here they are. Ah, this is Obi. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's name him correctly. Obi Kenobi, there you go. Oh my goodness, these guys are so cool. And Simba, there you go. Both of you are so beautiful. And they are very happy with their area, but they have no climbing, which they are upset about. So that is fine. Let's have a look in the blueprints because I'm pretty sure we have some really cool things for the Western Lowland Gorilla. There we go, okay. Asian bridge, Asian, wow, these are really cool things. Okay, so here we have a animal climbing frame. It looks a little small for them though, I'd say. Um, let's see, African shelter. So they need a shelter and they need climbing. Giant ape tree house is freaking amazing. That looks so cool. 
that is absolutely huge though and it would fit oops it would fit but do we want it to fit the whole thing kind of not k-pop hanging trees is also really cool a jungle bridge that's our otter bridge a jungle shelter monkey climbing now that is kind of more like it that is what i wanted to a certain extent that is so cool i think i might put this in you know if we pop it down there oh that's so cool does that provide them with enough yes it does it gives them gives them so much navigatable climbing area that is really cool let's just check all of it nothing's floating all of it's here so they have these really cute little shedded areas they have a cool little terrain that's that's i'm gonna just flatten this out for them so that they have an area here to walk up and i'm gonna push this out a bit and smooth it there we go and then they have this cool climbing area here i'm gonna move this just so that they can't get out via this tree there we go ah oh, this is so cool and let's just check that all right with the plants that they have in here they don't like the acacia palm that's fine it's not actually there they don't like the wimber tree and that's fine we will move that i think they're happy with everything though in here yes they are amazing ah oh, it's so cool okay now let's give them what they need for feeding let's see a boreal feeding platform i'm gonna just put a feeding thing kind of right in front of people so that they can see and possibly right in front of the keepers is that kind of annoying being there ah you can put this in a nice area back here actually there's a cool area so i'll put it here so people can see and then let's see habitat i guess we can press play now as they have everything they kind of need um uh, let's see do they have the right amount of shelter that is an important thing shelter wise hard shelter is a hundred percent good that's so good and then we'll put some they have a little bit of hard shelter here they have a bit of walk through hard shelter here and they have all this like underneath bit here which is probably what's giving them that high hard shelter which is really good I literally love this so much. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to give them a few grass patches. I don't like the the straw up here. So I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to snag it off. Whoops. Sorry for the oh dear. Sorry for the little lag there. It's a little heavy. Okay. Bedding. Boom. <laughs> That's a lot of bedding. Okay. And then let's see. Let's get rid of this. And this and this and put a big old piece of bedding here boom and then we'll get rid of this there we go and a big old piece of bedding there this is so cool and then we have a little 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 one here boom is that everything replace all the bedding yes we've replaced all the bedding amazing okay that is so cool. This already looks amazing. And I love these like custard apple trees that are kind of merged into the, the sides. It's really cool looking. I like it. I like it. Okay. Let's see. So can we get them some enrichment items? Let's see. They want more short grass. That's fine. They don't like the long grass. So we've got to kind of eradicate all this long grass that's everywhere for them and then they also want soil i'll give them some light soil around these areas here Ta -da! perfect and then i'll just put some rock back because i liked what the, how the rock looked around this area here so 
There we go. Okay, that's perfect for them. Oh dear. Diseased animal. <laughs> no, the peafowl are diseased. Suzanne, you didn't. Ah, oh, okay. There. Well, let's just have a check over. Oh, goodness. We have flamingos. More flamingos. A lot of flamingos. Maturing. Flamingos, what are you two doing? And then a greater flamingo again. Oh, not very healthy greater flamingos. Where have our golden flamingos gone? Um, let's see. Uh, and they are there. Cool. That is, you've caught up. That's all good. We're all caught up and we're having some problems with the water treatment and the transformers. That's fine. We can get those sorted. And the vet research is done. Oh my gosh, we need to get somebody on the Lolan Gorilla. The Western Lowland. Oh, there we go. Okay, we have Keeper. Who is this? Vet. Uh, Tiger Vet Tigger. Tiger Vet Tigger is actually on the Western Lowland Gorillas, which is kind of cool. All right. Oh my gosh. We have maturing. What fighting t lemurs? Why? Wow. They've had three baby boys. That's amazing. And the ring-tailed lemurs. Females, females, females. Ah, this dude. He has grown up. And Onyx is hurt, no, okay, he's being taken care of, that is fine. And lots of Indian peafowl maturing. Off you go, my dudes. Enjoy your life in the wild, contribute to the population. Good. Ta-da! And back to our gorillas. Where are they? Oh, look how cool it looks in here. We need some big trees in here, actually. They like a lot of coverage, I think. So let's see. Simba. Let's see. African and tropical. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, my dear. Oh, they like lilies. Oh, I do love some lotus plants. As you know, I will never say no to lotus plants. So let's stick a few of these in. Oh, yes. Amazing. Okay. Very, very cool. That, that should be fine. We'll put a mangrove to the side because it's um, the water. So we can put a few mangroves around. And then let's see. Let's put some, oh my gosh, giant. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's put a few of these gigantic giant rhubarbs. That looks amazing, don't you think? It looks so cool. You could just like put them perched here as well like that oh my gosh amazing because i know it does block them a bit so we've got to be careful and then a k-pop tree would be so cool to just put in because we do love the k-pop trees um so let's see i'm gonna put one in like this mm -hmm. put one here and then i'm gonna put another one we can have two k-pop trees I don't want them escaping via the K-pop trees. So we've got to kind of be careful where we're putting things. A mangrove apple. And lots of these bushes. Yes, I am a really big fan of these bushes. So we'll put a few of these along the sides, definitely. I love how they look just kind of bushed, bushed up and around things. So that is a must like this. This looks really good with just a little bit of bush. So, let's see a little bit of the sides here. And let's see, oh, tamarind tree. Ooh, we could put a tamarind tree kind of like up here on the edge. Oh, that looks amazing. And the tree ferns. Tree ferns are really, really cool. I would not mind a few tree ferns scattered around. Very cool. Tree fern, if you would. I would love a tree fern. Uh, there you go. Tree ferns all around. Everybody loves a tree fern. Ah, oh, this looks so cool. And we have a matured lima, which is very exciting. I love it when lemurs mature. Um, let's see. We'll put one there. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Do we have any like pretty? Let's see. Rocks. We can add in some rocks. Definitely. 
Oh, we do have some rocks already, I know. But I just love adding bits like this to the floor to make it look like it's kind of naturally just here. Okay, let's see. And then I think we need some around the front here. And where the keeper comes in, see, that just makes everything better. Everything way better. With a few pretty rocks involved. There we go. Okay, and then let's see. Do we have any pretty flowers? Some pretty, pretty flowers. Ooh, or some amazing elephant ear plants. Yes, please. I am not going to say no to elephant ears. They are also amazing. Ah, uh, these gorillas have the best habitat. I am very jealous of their really cool habitat okay we need to give them hang on i'm looking for flowers that's what i was doing we don't i can't find any maybe it's the african that kind of oh <gasps> here we go it was the african we didn't need the african okay good to know let's see i'm just gonna remove this is this this is not floating is it no it looked like it was kind of floating then that's fine we're gonna add some of this around here and like a little group oh that looks so cute i'm gonna put another bit here where the um guests look in like uh, just a little cluster of cute flowers um for the guests to see ah oh, this is so cute and then we need kind of a cluster down here maybe of a different kind of flower maybe this one yours this looks so cute okay the palmia, pul pulmaria, the pulmaria flower. Ah, oh, adorable, adorable. Oh, what are they doing? <gasps> no way, are they actually mating? Oh my goodness, no way. I think we have mating gorillas. Oh my gosh, look, look. Oh, this is so cool. You two are so cool. There they are, walking through the flowers. Oh, this is the best thumbnail ever. Oh my gosh, I love them. Also, we have a floating flower in the background. That's fine. Let's see. Do they not like... Oh, they don't like the pomeroids. All the cats are orchids. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. We'll just leave them with no flowers. Okay, that's sad. I was enjoying the flowers. Okay, whoopsies. Okay, I'm going to sort everything. <laughs> we have run out of time, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.